All right, we finally made it to Ladakh. This is the sign that says, welcome to Ladakh. Have to do a checkpoint and that's for them to know who's coming in, who's going out. Because apparently there's been a lot of issues with people getting lost around these parts. Passport, you gotta give your papers and you gotta sign you off and it just, you know, it just takes a little more time. Anyway, so excited to finally be in Ladakh. Yeah! All right, don't think we'll make it delay today, but we're gonna try our best to see how far we can make it. The rest of the adventure continues. Hey everyone, my name is Alex. I'm an ex-medical student who sold all his belongings in 2012 to travel around the world. 50 countries and the adventure continues. We finally made it to Ladakh. This is the sign that says welcome to Ladakh and you basically have to do a checkpoint and that's for them to know who's coming in, who's going out because apparently there's been a lot of issues with people getting lost around these parts. So passport, you gotta give your papers and you gotta sign you off and it just, you know, it just takes a little more time. Anyway, so excited to finally be in Ladakh. Yeah! All right, don't think we'll make it delay today, but we're gonna try our best to see how far we can make it. The rest of the adventure continues. Crazy, amazing turns, great scenery, the tarmac, probably the second best road I've ever seen in India, funny enough here. So good, so fun to ride, could have asked for a better experience. And the bike, performing excellent, so good, definitely the bike I would take again on a trip like this, any Enfield in my opinion, but would do the trick, the Himalayan especially, the cool bike because I can carry all my gear, it's got side panniers, and it's very easy to get here in India. So. It's iconic, it's part of the country, it's part of the culture, the blood, uh, but it looks awesome in pictures and video. Actually, if you haven't seen those pictures, head to my Instagram and check them out. They are awesome. We're gonna do some drone stuff here and uh, we'll see you next time. So Vika has actually tried to go an off-road here instead of taking the beautiful asphalt and uh, now he's paying for it because there's a part where it's so steep you just can't go up and keeps sliding down. You can do it. You can do it. So Vic has decided to do an off-road here even though there was complete beautiful tarmac. Now he's stuck so we're going to try to get him out. All right. One, two. Ah. 
Don't hate me, my friend, but I have to interview you. How was it? Oh, what? Hands work, panting. <laughs> now, somewhere I shouldn't have taken the bike. You said I challenged myself. So maybe... By the way, I, I haven't mentioned this. I haven't mentioned this, but we are 15,000 feet above sea level, otherwise 5,000 meters above sea level. So <laughs> anything you do here, even just walking from here to the corner, is tough. <laughs> so I think someone's gonna think twice before trying something pretty crazy at 5,000 meters, right? <laughs> so we're gonna take a quick rest, water break, and down the road we go. Unfortunately, I didn't get to do a vlog because we're a little bit time constrained, so we're trying to get somewhere before sundown. I not want to be riding roads in India at night for various reasons. Animals, potholes, you go slower. It's just a higher risk of things happening. Finally, it is like 8 p.m. Luckily, there's still some light left. This camera does a great job at it. And yeah, it's not much here. Check it out. We have cars, tents, some buildings. It's pretty much nothing. And this is very rustic, very rural. We simply just cannot go on. We had planned to drive the late today and we barely got halfway. That's because of filming. That's because of taking out the drone. It's because I had some problems with the drone. It's been pretty, pretty crazy. So we are super tired. The roads were really bad the last hour and a half, but that's just life. That's just the way it works. So let me show you where we parked the bikes. All right, so first is where we parked the bikes. The lady was very nice to actually let us park it underneath the roof. Because how was our day? Rough, dusty, smoky, but good. At least we got some good footage. What's your favorite part about today? <laughs> the off-roading. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me show you guys the inside of our beautiful five-star hotel. <laughs> There's like a little place to eat, a little place to sleep. They got some food and stuff, it's very nice. One bathroom for everybody. We're lucky because as I learned last night, Vikas actually kind of snores a little bit, so it's gonna be nice to have a bed to myself, so. <laughs> I'm kidding, he sleeps like a baby. He's the best companion anybody can ask for. Couldn't do it without him. But he snores a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> I do. Alright, so needless to say, that is the end of our day. Thanks for joining me. See you tomorrow.